Now, it is a moment that plane spotters normally dream about, up close to a moving fighter jet. But, as you can see from these amazing pictures, spectators at RAF Waddington got more than they bargained for and were sent running for cover when this typhoon came into land. It was arriving for the International Air Show, and eyewitnesses say it was the lowest they've ever seen an aircraft. Phil Connell has more. The typhoon jet approached RAF Waddington on its normal flight path. For those on the ground, though, a surprise was in store. I saw a typhoon coming through, and I thought, nice, I'll get my camera ready. And then next thing I thought, looks a bit low. In fact, plane spotters got more than they bargained for, with the aircraft passing within feet of the perimeter fence. Looking from the, uh, the clips on YouTube and also our reactions, it was, it was wow, that, that was close. The aircraft was filmed by a plane enthusiast last Friday as it landed ahead of the annual air show at Waddington. Spectators who'd been watching from behind the perimeter fence got closer than they'd expected. Pictures show one boy running for safety and a man on the ground after jumping from his ladder. John and Christine Robinson, who run a cafe close by in the official viewing area, say they've never seen anything like it. It makes you realise why people shouldn't be stood there, because, you know, these aircraft do come in low, they're coming fast, and if he'd have had to have put the power on, um, there, there would have been people injured. Very dangerous. If they'd put the reheat on, there'd have been a lot of frazzled people that day. Spectators say he flew within just feet of the base's perimeter hedge here, with the RAF today apologising for any inconvenience caused. In a statement, though, the RAF said the approach of the typhoon was completely normal and individuals placing themselves under the flight path of the aircraft shouldn't be surprised if they experience jet wash. These pictures show why signs and warning lights are in place, but for many it's still a popular place to stand, though seasoned plane spotters say it's a definite risk. The red lights are there to stop people going past, but people still ignore those signs and stand on the fence right underneath where the planes are coming in. I mean, if you stood in the middle of a road, you'd expect to get knocked down, wouldn't you? For these enthusiasts, though, it's an experience they'll never forget. A closer shave than many would have liked. Phil Connell, BBC Look North, Waddington.